Are you familiar with the uh, National Popular Vote Interstate Compact? Yes. Do you think that this is going to start coming more and more to the forefront? Because it's been something that like, uh, in a lot of political science circles has been known for a while because it's been going on for quite some time. No, I don't think so. Because if you look at what the framers intent, it would have to go before Congress and Congress would have to then override the framers intent. Um, so a compact would have to go before them. So if you look kind of in the rules in the constitution, Congress has to agree to all compacts. And I seriously doubt they would agree to a compact, which essentially would erode something set up by our framers. I could be surprised, but um, now we'll see what this election does, right? So if we have another election where the popular vote is vastly different from the electoral college vote, which is setting it up to be that way potentially, We'll see, but I think it's gonna to have to potentially come from the people and maybe even go to the way to amend the constitution, which has not been used, which is through the people. Mm -hmm. Do you think that the popular vote is an accurate representation of America as a whole? Because there's been some criticism that if, if we switch to a system like that. Yeah, I don't, I don't like just using the popular vote. I know there's a lot of people that do, but it gives undue influence to certain states. So a lot of people assume that, well, Texas would matter the most, right? Texas and California. Maybe, maybe not. It just depends um, when you look at the numbers. Um, why would then a candidate want to go to a smaller state? So there's kind of the big small state comparison as well as kind of regional comparisons. So I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sold on the whole changing the, the electoral college. Uh, I think we'll see after this election what happens. I, I'm, I'm guessing we won't have an, an answer on election night. <laughs>